Hello again and welcome to my channel. Uh, I thought I'd share with you some more projects that I've been working on and answer a few questions as we go along because um, I'm happy to announce that I have now over 100 subscribers. So thank you very much for, uh, for watching my channel. Please continue to subscribe and if you like it, give me a like at the bottom. Thank you very much. So this is my um, sky ship, which I've uh, created. I wanted to show it to you uh, before it was uh, pre-painted uh, pre -pre with its primer because it gives you a better idea of the kind of parts that I'm using and the kind of things that I do. So down here we have a, uh, uh, a B-wing from a Star Wars model using also cutouts from bits of plastic to give it the fins here uh, attached by various other little uh, plastic legs from uh, other Star Wars models here. Up here we have a Nerf gun, bits from a Nerf gun to produce the engine. Um, going into another Star Wars toy here, and here are the wings from a Star Wars shuttlecraft, uh, and more Nerf parts here. And then this is obviously Slave One, the uh, Star Wars Slave One model. Uh, we have uh, this is uh, old uh, toys, junk from toy. I think this is a toy, toy tank here. I'm not quite sure where this is from. I think it's from an old squirter gun. Uh, Nerf gun parts here, and up here we have making the towers or or the masks our old uh, printer parts from a computer printer which produces lots of interesting shapes and designs and over here the same thing here I'll just give you a few more shots as we go around I uh, envisage this to be some kind of um, floating ship in the clouds uh, possibly of a giant gas planet I've attached it quite um, fortuitously to a, a rod uh, leading down to a wooden stand and the stand will be painted black. Uh, I didn't used to put my models on stands, I have to admit, but uh, now that I want to try and do this a little bit more professionally, I think obviously putting it on stands sets them, sets them off rather than hanging them from the ceiling. It makes them more, look more like a a piece of sculpture which incidentally is what I'm trying to achieve in my models um, giving them a sculptural quality the next part of this uh, model to finish to, uh, con to continue working on it will be to um, produce rigging for it so that it looks rigging which mimics the kind of rig rigging you would find in a sailing ship to give it more of a ship like quality And this is the other model, which again is in uh, a raw state before I paint it. Uh, this is a my version of a anti-gravity uh, bike or vehicle. Again, the Nerf parts here, the Nerf gun, which is this is the the Nerf gun is actually th the thing that gave me the idea in the first place because of its particular shape. And another Nerf gun on the uh, the front here. And the underneath, and again, this is on a stand, which I've actually created the stand for it. It's uh, uh, painted black. Um, now, underneath, you can see I have used lots of electronic parts and wiring to uh, give it the impression of uh, uh, the engine. I'll show you the other side. So, there's the other side. Uh, with uh, You can see that I'm using... Uh, lots of um, thing, electri electrical bits from uh, electrical toys, toy engines, uh, greeblies from uh, uh, things from uh, DVD players and printers and so on. And uh, again, I'm using um, 
a uh, Star Wars model figure as scale and reference. And the cockpit of a Star Wars uh, toy gives him, makes him uh, able to sit in it quite, in it quite nicely. So that's the kind of work that I'm used, that I'm doing, and it shows you the um, the uh, resources that I use to create my models. I'll show you a few more resources. So I use lots of electronic parts which I find from, uh, say, printers, DVD players, um, computer, uh, computer uh, uh, cases, and so on. And I wanted to show you my Universal Greebly. <laughs> now, this thing here is from a um, fluorescent tube, uh, a, lighting, a fluorescent lighting tube. And where I work, they're replacing all the fluorescent lighting tubes with um, LEDs. So there's hundreds of these little things which I find being thrown away. And they're brilliant for um, all kinds of little uh, greebly bits, uh, putting them onto the models and giving them a texture and a, uh, and a, um, a feel of, uh, of scale. And when you look at my work, you might be able to find and, uh, loads of these dotted around all over the place. I use lots of wires, so I bring in the wires and other little bits, lots of Lego, old Lego bits. I try to use one colour if possible. These are great for filing down and uh, using to, using in various little areas, giving it texture. I use, uh, these are my Nerf gun parts, all the Nerf gun, all the bits from Nerf guns which I've cannibalised and uh, all the little bits there. So nerf gun parts. And here's a bin full of um, model kits, old model kit parts. Loads of greebies here. All of this stuff I've either found on eBay or junk stores, uh, usually um, usually junk stores to be perfectly honest because they sell, loads of, they sell bags of this stuff. Um, in here, this little bin, it's got uh, now these are brilliant for putting uh, when you're using uh, cable and you want to give the impression that the cable is being tied down and fixed in some way so these are little uh, cable ties which are simply glue i take the i take the uh, the nail out and i glue them onto the cable ties and in actual fact on uh, one of these ships you can see them here we go. There. That's the cable tie. On there. Like that. So thanks for watching on this particular video. Uh, because I'm now getting quite a lot of subscribers, I'm going to uh, try and post every week, uh, every week uh, around this time, and produce a new video. So keep watching, keep subscribing, keep liking, and I'll see you soon. Thank you very much. Goodbye.